And hello everybody, this is Fraxen here, and today we'll actually be taking a look at the wikis. Or, I actually have no idea how to pronounce it, but I'll just, we'll just go with wikis. If it's wrong, do let me know somewhere in the comments. And as you can see, I did, it's like, I have to purchase it, but that's the reason why, is because I then upgraded it to the Clemson and sold the wikis. However, I did make a quite nice um, gameplay with it, so I'd like to share that with you. And uh, it will be an ex-post commentary. And during the gameplay, of course, I will be commenting on the action, but I will also be trying to, in particular, uh, give you some insights between the main differences of the Japanese destroyers versus the American destroyers. Having said that, I think we should uh, jump All right, right into the so game. here we go in with the wikis gameplay. So, actually, um, this was a map I'd actually never played on before. Um, it could be just because of randomness or because of other factors, but anyway... Uh, at least as a destroyer, this was a first. So the interesting thing is that it actually, I think it's a quite uh, adapt map for destroyers, giving uh, how many islands you can basically hide behind, and you're never really exposed, you know, like the open ocean map, which is literally, of course, the worst for destroyers. However, uh, given this, uh, this brief um, moment of relaxation, while well, there's no enemy spotted, and I'm just cruising along, I uh, just wanted to highlight the main differences between Japanese and American destroyers. So, American destroyers have a much shorter torpedo range. It's usually around 5 kilometers. It can be boosted up, sometimes up to 5.5 kilometers, but it's quite paltry compared to the 7 kilometers of the Japanese destroyers. However, in terms of main armaments, uh, the guns uh, turn much faster on American destroyers and fire at a much better rate. So, if you will uh, be locked in in a destroyer duel, uh, of course, look out for torpedoes always, but if you're an American, you will be advantaged because definitely uh, you have superior firepower, and it's entirely possible that you could sink enemy destroyers just, you know, with your um, with your main armaments. It's it's not unheard of. Anyway, uh, and if there's more, at least these were like the main differences I noticed. But if there's more, like you're more than welcome to to share your insights. Anyway. Um, Coming back to the map, finally enemies are popping, uh, are dotting uh, my radar, and the Wyoming is approaching, and this looked good to me, because although, like, my striking range is only 5 kilometers, which of course makes it much more complicated to hit cruisers, which, well, I mean, if you're desperate, trying to hit cruisers is going to be basically impossible, because at 5 kilometers, just they'll just tear you apart. But in terms of better getting close 5 kilometers to a battleship, I suppose it's doable, but of course it just increases risk, which made me thought that I should use the... Uh, the elements of the map to my utmost advantage. So here I was just trying to wait till the last possible moment because I thought that Wyoming uh, was kind of moving towards me, at least at the, a certain angle that was closing the distance. So I see torpedo bombers wrecking her hull. She's only at 5.5 kilometers. So I'm like, okay, I'm going into strike. I see that the Omaha is opening up fire, the Tin Ryu, and also St. Louis. I'm just praying that the, also the St. Louis doesn't see me. The Wyoming opens fire, another salvo. I'm lucky no major incapacitations were caused, so I fire off my torpedoes, you know, um, one more ample salvo just to be on the safe side, and then firing another extra salvo just a bit further away, because you never know, you know, with battleships what I had assumed here was that um, with the torpedo bombers coming in, he may have cut throttle to avoid them, so now he's like building throttle again, so I, I actually expanded my lead time on the second salvo of torpedoes. In the meantime, I'm just trying to look to survive here, and I see my torpedoes hitting home, really happy about that. The adjustment I had done proved to be correct, and here just to make sure I'm like, I really want to sink that battleship, that's my kill. So, uh, having done that, I'm uh, shooting at planes, but I'm not really too concerned with my anti-aircraft showing off my position, I mean everybody already knows where I am. So I thought, well maybe if I can shoot down a plane I can help my carrier players. So, you know, I'm just uh, zigzagging, hoping to avoid uh, enemy fire. At this point, I just turn off my anti-aircraft because it's simply too risky and the benefit provided is marginal. I get hit uh, with my steering uh, or engine, I don't remember what that is. But th the point is that I'm dead in the water. So the only thing I can do right now is pop my smoke screen and, you know, just uh, hope to survive some way and hope that the Tenryo won't see me. So I have two torpedo salvos of three, I'm thinking I really want to cover up, you know, all that area. And I was waiting just till the last possible moment because he's just right at the edge of my torpedo range. But I thought I'd covered a decent portion, you know, 
uh, of the area behind me. So I get my repair going and I'm like, let's get the hell out of here because definitely I can't survive uh, close range engagements with cruisers. It's, it's, it's impossible. I mean, of course, there's going to be those like marginal situations where you can, but this was definitely not one of them. So I see one torpedo hit, so I'm happy about that. But I'm, I'm def this is not, a t I'm not uh, fighting another destroyer. Uh, one torpedo, sadly enough, uh, will not kill a cruiser. Although, of course, otherwise it'd be completely OP. So for good measure, I fire uh, two salvos of torpedoes into the mist. I have no idea if they're gonna hit, but of course, um, the more time uh, is elapsed, and the worse I think things are gonna get. Here also I'm presented with a decision, you see uh, there, there's a New York to my, actually there was before a New York to my right side, however to my left side there's basically nobody left to block my advance and I'm sure there are two carriers in the game so if there were only one carrier then I'd rather go for the battleship, but knowing that there are two carriers out there unprotected then I thought let's go for the carriers and the Tenryu then also just pops out of nowhere from the mist, uh, mist actually playing against me and already rudder incapacitation immediately or engine incapacitation I fire my torpedoes I'm just like praying to the heavens that these torpedoes are gonna hit because otherwise I am completely dead anyway two direct hits seal the deal and in the meantime I'm also being attacked by torpedo bombers uh, at my back but that was okay um, it was possibly bad aiming from the carrier um, player so as I was saying I, I, ca I can see that planes are being launched really close to me so instead of chasing a battleship that is actually racing, that I would have to, like, we're actually um, navigating in the same direction, so I can't really, it's gonna take a long time before I can actually close the distance. So I'm actually rewarded here by seeing the Zuiho, and I open fire, and at this point, uh, the American destroyers do have uh, the advantage of man managing to fire every six seconds. I can see another salvo of um, torpedo bombers uh, being released. No big deal, but I'm even happier to see that there's also a Bogue there, uh, sorry, a Langley. So both the, both the carriers are actually in the same spot, something which I would actually highly recommend players do not do, because this means that then it's really easy to, to tear them apart. I'd really suggest players, I mean, I don't mean to say that you need to be at opposite sides of the map, but please separate each other, otherwise it's just too easy. Once you spot one, you spot the other, and the damage can be critical. I used widespread torpedoes trying to hit the Langley, which is super slow, while the Zuiho, being the uh, Japanese one, is super fast. Like, I think the actual speeds, uh, I, I think the Langley uh, and Bogue American um, aircraft carriers don't surpass 16 or 17 knots, while actually the, uh, the Japanese ones can, I think, reach around 25 and 26, which is crazy. So, the Langley's been my target, uh, sadly the, le the least valuable target. Here I'd actually considered uh, ramming him for the last thousand life, but I th that was just something fun to do, uh, but inefficient for the team. But yeah, I was also in the heat of battle and really wasn't considering the, let's say, fun options. I was just thinking of uh, make having the best game possible. Uh, in the meantime, I can see that uh, oh, the Zuyo has been pretty much spotted. So there's going to be a Minikaze, they're dropping torpedoes, there was a Congo in the distance which will also be firing. And I'm also here, you know, to, to do my part if I can with my torpedoes. And the Zui just suddenly d disappears, I'm like, what the hell, then she reappears, it's all good. Um, I do fire my torpedoes, but the, the other destroyer, my, uh, my fellow destroyers is really doing the, uh, the work here. I was just making, sh ensuring the kill. And um, once again, uh, just showcasing how easy it is as a destroyer to dodge torpedoes. Uh, I think that if torpedo bombers get to kill you, it's either you make a slight maneuvering mistake or it's just a carrier uh, player that's really good with aiming. So at this point, um, I'm just looking forward to maybe try and sink this Omaha. I I'm not sure if I can actually make it, but I've been spotted. So, you know, smoke screen. And then what my idea right here was, uh, well, this Omaha is like circumnavigating uh, this island, and so can I. So maybe she pops out on the left side, I pop up on the right side, I fire my torpedoes, and they slam into her hull and I sink her. At least this was the glorious vision I had um, for my wikis. Uh, however, as uh, 
my, my main limitation is my five kilometer torpedo range. And as you can see, she's already 6.3 kilometers. So yeah, sure, I'm closing in, which is pretty much the same thing which I was trying to mention you know, for the battleship. When you're like chasing and you're like navigating in the same direction, it just takes forever to close the distance. Okay, with the cruiser, it's harder because they go much faster. But also with a battleship, if the battleship doesn't change course, it's gonna really be hard then to also like get in range with those five kilometers because by the time I also fire my torpedoes, like, I'm not even sure, like, that the ship will be in range by that time. But anyway, at this point, I'm just here to, you know, do some cleanup duty. Uh, I'm just really hoping to survive the battle. You know, I, I do enjoy, like, managing to survive and not being always sunk. So just uh, getting some pot shots on this Omaha. Of course, I won't be, I won't be like, raking in the real damage. That's gonna be for somebody else. And seeing the damage there, I definitely think that was a battleship firing. Uh, sorry, I was just, you know, uh, hoping maybe to, to get the kill, I mean, the, um, the, deal, the deal is sealed anyway, there, there's no way at this point that, as a team, we can possibly lose this game. So I open up fully uh, my broadside, and then you see, like, other players, like, completely missing their shots, I'm like, okay, it's really meant to be uh, that I get to kill this, uh, this Omaha. But, sadly enough, uh, I actually... I just barely managed to scrape it just down to 200 life uh, and eventually other shots finish her off but uh, but that's okay it's uh, that's just like a vanity issue of like getting uh, the the killing blow anyway in terms of experience I was happy I had the 1.5 multipliers it was the first win of the day a couple of achievements but most of all I mean around 3k experience is good uh, the actual team score is to me irrelevant what I really care about is uh, the actual damage I've been uh, is my damage output. So as you can see, in terms of torpedoes, about 70k, uh, around let's say 15k of um, fires and, sh and hits, and another 5k of uh, floodings. So all in all, let's say near around you know between 85 and 90k, more or less. And I think that for a tier three destroyers. That's pretty amazing. At least I, I, I was, uh, I was very satisfied with the game. So, um, I think this pretty much wraps it up, and I hope you enjoyed and maybe uh, learned something from it. So please uh, share and subscribe, and if you have anything else you want to tell me, let me know in the comments. Fraxen over and out.